Okay. Y'all about to get the last two stories of the day. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to your family. Welcome to the mental house. Shit crazy. Can't get no crazier than this. Boy. 103 acres of land sits in between island uh, to the west and Ochimon south has been vacant for a while, 20 years. Beautiful. Don't tell them what's up there, though. It's probably where Bigfoot lives. Anyways, you guys, you guys, let me tell you this. <clears throat> this is the first crazy thing. Okay, y'all got Chicago quarantine. Okay, so Wisconsin, of course, Chicago, other states added to the COVID-19 travel order list. Wisconsin and three other states have been added to the COVID to the expanded COVID-19 travel quarantine list. You know, I heard Corey, my man Corey say, uh, he don't know nobody that got it. And who got it? Well, friend of mine's uh, partner came down sick and um, she was like, oh, you looking bad. You looking really, really bad. Come and find out she has it. She's giving it to her guy. She's giving it to um, her daughter, her mom. Um, her aunt is in the hospital on a ventilator. So this shit is real. And some of us are going to die from it. Some of us are going to survive it. But the shit is real. And I defy anybody to talk that stupid stuff that this corona ain't real. You know, so, you know, it's, it's, it's scary. And the thing is, people are challenging where they should wear, whether they should wear a mask. Well, they've debunked the, 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 sea, uh, the carbon argument, okay? You are not breathing carbon monoxide. It made sense at first. When I thought about it, but after looking at some scientific facts, and um, you can just go, um, just do some uh, independent research on your own with some different opinions, and then add that in the pot with your own, and then come up with your own gumbo in terms of, I just think it's better to stay safe. However, I do agree with Corey when he said people can get it with the mask on and without the mask. So... Um, that's a challenge, but I think it's not as easy. And I think that the mask protects other people. Um, and as well as those little spitters and sputters of spit. However, let me just go ahead and get to this. Mayor uh, Lori Lightfoot mentioned Monday that Wisconsin will be added to the order. Um, um, Tuesday morning. The city announced that Wisconsin, as well as Missouri, North Dakota, and Nebraska will be added to the list, which now includes 22 states. Signs over Illinois' highways already warn entering travelers coming from designated COVID hotspots to self-quarantine. We are also seeing an increase in states around us. A, uh, Wisconsin, for example, is going to go on our quarantine list later this week. Citywide self-quarantine orders will now be directed to incoming Wisconsinites, Chicagoans, returning for more after more than 24 hours across the border uh, as the counts are quickly rising in these states that um, full reopen weeks before Chicago. I think Chicago, we are doing well because we are extremely prudent. When we started to reopen up, we didn't go as large with capacity, for example, as some of those other areas across the country, Lightfoot said. 
the heavy traverse border between Illinois and Wisconsin could make summer recreation and family travel very, very difficult. I told you because, uh, you know, Wisconsin and Illinois border is just right there on with each other, right on each other. Um, Illinois reports <clears throat> twelve hundred new cases and eighteen deaths on Monday. If Chicago thinks our people should stay home when we better put some damn mask on and make sure that we continue to reverse the course that we're in, uh, we'll be safe, said Tony Evers. The news was concerning to many northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin re residents. The border between the two states is deeply porous, with many people crossing it to have dinner, visit attractions, obtain health services and more, and Wisconsin residents visit Chicago as well. So, uh, they like, this is not cool. Uh, the former mayor said a third of Lake Geneva's economy comes from tourism, and many of those tourists come from Illinois. But ironically, those large groups of tourists may also be partly responsible for the Koreans increase in COVID cases. Man. The primary goal certainly is about education and helping people recognize that there is significant personal risk when people are traveling to states where the outbreak, or outbreak is in poor control and that when they return to Chicago or if they visit Chicago, they are in turn bringing that risk to others. Um, the order applies to people coming from Wisconsin, coming to Chicago for non-work purposes, and Chicago residents returning from Wisconsin. Essential travel and travel for work is exempt, but they could be asked to limit their activities to only being work-related and asked to avoid public spaces. We have to specifically, particularly for Wisconsin, which we know is going to be a major impact on a lot of folks in Chicago. We've been careful to lay out the fact that people who are commuting for work from Wisconsin are able to commute, and, I mean, are able to continue that commuting for work, but they need to limit their activities in Chicago. People who travel to Wisconsin even for less than 24 hours, will still need to quarantine for 14 days unless they are an essential worker. The quarantine order for the other additional states will take effect on Friday. The mayor also said that the city is closely watching the COVID-19 numbers in Indiana, which are approaching but have not yet met the threshold to impose a quarantine order. Subsequently, these are the states that are currently subject to quarantine. Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, North Carolina, North Dakota, Nevada, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, and Wisconsin. Man. While the percentage of people tested positive in Chicago has slowed up a bit, I mean, has slowly ticked up, doctors at Northern Northwesterns are recruiting 5,000 people for the next round of the AstraZeneca vaccine. We will begin to know the results very quickly. In particular, if there is an opportunity to see whether those who got it didn't get infected versus those who did get it. While doctors hope to begin with the vaccine trial, <clears throat> excuse me, vaccine trial in August, safe products is very likely months and months away. So, life with a mask, 
capacity regulations, extreme hand washing will be part of our everyday indefinitely. I'm not a doctor, but that's what my observation is. That we're going, we're not going to be able to take this mask off and go about everything we've been doing seven, eight months ago for a few more months, maybe six months. Who knows? And that's what the governor said, J.B. Pritzler. I don't know, y'all. Tell me. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you think. All right. Leave your comment below.